Uh, in this demo, we're going to do a basic connection to a database using script. Uh, I'm simply going to call it basic connection to database. Uh, once we've uh, created our sub, uh, I'm doing it in global so that I can run it regularly and do tests on it. Uh, I need to declare my variable. So this time I need to declare a variable so that I can connect to the database. So I've declared C as a new connection and that's a variant. Uh, I need to have a query in this particular data so I can query the database, so Q. Uh, as that uh, connection uh, query, and I need to put the um, whatever the query comes out into a result set. Uh, I need to be able to access the table so that I've got some data on the table uh, that we're going to be using within the query, and I need a few strings to support this particular script. Uh, TFN, which will eventually stand for table full name, TN, which will is short for table name and rec, uh, which is an integer, is going to count the records within the, da the, t uh, the table that I owe. So the first thing I need to do is connect to the uh, particular uh, type of um, database that we're using. In this case it's dbase4, you know, standard with approach. So I connect to dbase4 and then I need to uh, set that connection and connect it to the query so that I can uh, do my queries on that particular connection. And, and at this point in time, I'm going to fill the uh, TBL uh, variable with the table that I'm going to be using for this particular query. As you can see, current documents tables, uh, and the particular table integer in my case I'm using is zero. I'll explain this a little bit shortly. Um, once I've set the table, I'm going to take that particular set. Uh, as you can see, I've got an error there. Uh, you set uh, you need to equal. And okay, I'm now going to uh, put the ta some of the table properties into the other two variables, the TFN string and the TN string. I'm going to put the full name into the TFN, as for table full name, into the TN, the table name. And if I run that, uh, you can see that uh, basically there's my connection. Uh, negative one says I've got it. Query, there is nothing in the query yet because I haven't done a query. Uh, and then the, here is the table details in regards to the particular table that I've connected. And as you can see, um, my table name variable has some issues with it. Uh, I didn't put the appropriate spot in. Uh, if we run that again, you'll now see that table name. Now if you look at the table name, uh, there it will be issues in script because of that table has an alias in approach. And with an alias you need to filter out the alias and just end up with the absolute table name. So I'm using the instring, instring function on the TN uh, variable and basically I'm going to find if that particular variable contains uh, some characters in it that are applicable to an alias. If it does, then I'm going to remove those particular aspects of uh, that from within that string so that I no longer have it. I do this using the left function uh, and I know that there's, if, if there is an alias it will always be two, two characters extra than it should be. Uh, so I remove those two characters. As you can see, I now have a table name, Client Master. Okay, uh, if we go down uh, into the globals area and find current document, which we had the integer before, we can actually, in the current document, find all of the properties and go down to where it has the container within that, which is the tables container. And in the tables container, you will find all of the tables that are connected to the approach document you're working on. Now I'm using zero as the integer, that's why I've got that data, but as you can see if I'd put the uh, applicable number to other tables I would have got those tables up in this query as well. I'm now going to create a query using standard SQL format uh, for that query. Uh, there are some unique things with approach that you need to be aware of uh, when you're accessing tables. You need to be able to tell approach that it's a table, not just a piece of string that you're querying. Uh, in this case you can see through the quotations and the uh, use of uh, certain characters this actually directs the query to the table itself um, and we should now be able to follow through with this query. Once I've got a query I need to uh, put that query into a result set so that I can see its outcomes. Uh, so you can see I set the, our R variable with the query 
and uh, if, if that R executes and it means it has got the data from the table then what it should do is give me a result and tell me how many number you know fill my record integer with the number of rows that are applicable to that that result set if I run this I actually find I have another error error and then this error relates again to that same uh, TN string client master another uh, issue with script is that uh, there is a space in the table name so uh, it really needs to go back to a bit of DOS conventions and uh, I need to be able to tell that if it does have a space then I need to add a few quotations to this so that it actually re recognizes that space as an appropriate filter uh, as you can see now I'm doing the in-string function again and if I do have a space in there then the answer will be greater than zero so I now add some extra quotations to the beginning and the end of the TN name TN uh, variable which will actually allow this um, this uh, script to work as you can see now it ignored the space and it gave me one record which is telling me at the moment that my client master database only has one record